Hey there, internet friends, Trevor Starkey here with another episode of Movie Monday. This week I'm talking about The Post, which I went and saw with my friend Logan Wilkinson while he was in town. Uh, we headed out to our local Alamo Draft House and, uh, and took in the show. Uh, Logan, very much a fan of All the President's Men, I have not seen it. Um, but this is very much a film kind of made in that, uh, uh, in, in that spirit, in the honor of, of that kind of film. Um, centers around uh, Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks as uh, Kay Graham and Ben Bradley of the Washington Post around the, the early 1970s um, when uh, uh, the New York Times published uh, what became known as the Pentagon Papers, uh, a report basically uh, talking about how the government uh, had been lying and keeping a secret the fact that they knew the Vietnam War wasn't going well. They, they knew it couldn't go well. Um, uh, all this kind of uh, revealed by, uh, by a man named Daniel Ellsberg, who um, kind of for weeks or months um, kind of was smuggling out the report uh, from uh, from the the contractor he worked with uh, nightly, and he was uh, um, basically photocopying it uh, at the time, and then like sneaking the report back into uh, into the the offices. So uh, the the New York Times originally published it, and then uh, the Nixon White House basically uh, uh, requested an injunction to stop them from further publishing stuff and and turning um, kind of American sentiment against the war which is why they were basically uh, hiding all of these uh, these reports in the first place. And so what this film kind of centers around is um, Tom Hanks uh, as, as uh, editor Ben Bradley. Um, uh, his his newsroom basically um, uh, gets access to the the uh, Pentagon Papers in this uh, through some some of their own investigative re reporting. And uh, and it's kind of down to them on whether or not they they want to publish it and go against the the kind of the the president's injunction the white house's injunction on the free press so it's it's um you know obviously very kind of analogous to um to kind of the the present day sentiment of uh, of trump's kind of attack on the news as fake news um this was very much uh the same kind of sentiment in in you know the the bygone area uh 45 almost 50 years ago now and so you you're also focused on um, Meryl Streep's character Kay Graham, who is the the uh, basically the the owner of the Post. It was uh, her family company. Uh, it's just going public in this movie, um, but she still has you know she still maintains control of uh, of the newspaper, uh, and she is very much uh, she was she was not the first choice to run the Post. Um, this is very much an era where you know men were running things, were running the country, were running kind of institutions. And uh, the only reason she's running the post is because uh, her father le uh, left the post to her husband, and her husband killed himself, and so um, it therefore transferred to her. And uh, and you see very much in this movie, um, she's kind of uneasy with the the notion of kind of stepping up into a position of power when surrounded by uh, kind of the the men in the in the corporate world. Um, in particular, you have Bradley uh, Whitford of The West Wing playing one of the, the board members, Arthur Parsons, who's very much uh, kind of always second-guessing uh, Kay's decisions, Meryl Streep's decisions. Um, but the, the moments where she does kind of, you know, come out of her shell and take a stand end up being the very heroic moments of the film, and they, they are very, um, you know, uh, that, that's where you get the audience going, yeah, you go, Meryl Streep, woo, yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of other weird little cameos in here throughout uh, that, that kind of kept popping up and, and surprising me. Uh, you have uh, uh, Jesse Plemons of Breaking Bad and Friday Night Lights and the, the recent uh, USS Callister episode of Black Mirror. Um, he's in there as like the, the Post's senior counsel um, uh, in, a, in a very like tongue-in-cheek um, reference. They, they kind of point out the fact that he's so young. Um, uh, similarly, you have um, Zach Woods from uh, Silicon Valley in the office as like one of the other counselors um, uh, in there as like a was like oh hey it's that guy um, Allison Breeze in there as uh, as Kay Graham's uh, daughter Meryl Streep's daughter um, they have some lovely scenes together uh, Bob Odenkirk and David Cross of Mr. Show and Breaking Bad and and uh, and Arrested Development and the various 
projects that the two of them work on are editors in the uh, in the post newsroom. Um, Bruce Greenwood is Robert McNamara, um, former, uh, I believe, Secretary of Defense. Uh, he's the one who kind of commissioned the report that these Pentagon Papers are all being pulled from, um, and he's kind of uh, so he's kind of uh, um, you know he, he's he's a friend of Kay's um, in their social circles, but he's also the subject of the stories that they're they're writing about. So um, it also kind of toys with the idea of you know where is the line between the press and the the um the politicians um which was a, a certainly more blurred in that era um i think it's more clearly kind of defined now but even with recent stuff like fire and fury um you have kind of a blurring of the lines there of like oh they thought you know this guy was their friend and so that's why they're maybe talking more more openly than uh, than they would have anticipated and he kind of wrote down what they were talking about um so yeah it's it's a it's a very uh um you know inspirational kind of spielbergian movie it is directed by spielberg um very well shot uh very uh, of the time um nothing i mean cinematography like hugely jumped out at me um logan pointed out as we were walking through the credits that john williams does the score um there's certainly like the, there are some good musical stings in there, but nothing really jumped out, and I was I was never like, oh, that's that's an iconic John Williams kind of theme or something like that. Um, but overall, I had a good time with the movie. Um, like I said, it is very much in the spirit of um, uh, all the president's men, uh, of course, focused on the Watergate uh, scandal. And this film, not getting into spoilers or anything, but this film uh, even ends with kind of the security guard you know, uh, stumbling in upon the, uh, the break in and the Watergate hotel. Um, and, and I leaned over to Logan afterwards and said to be continued in all the president's men. Um, so yeah, it was just a, a good movie, good fun movie. Uh, um, you know, inspirational and kind of like, yeah, the, it's, we should see the, the press kind of stand up against, um, uh, you know, tyranny and, and you know uh, the uh, politicians that will abuse their power. Um, the there's a they kind of quote the um, the Supreme Court uh, response to uh, to the whole case, um, talking where where one of the Supreme Court justices basically says um, the the press freedom of the press is uh, there to um, uh, provide for the governed, not the governors. Uh, that's that's who they're there to serve. So uh, very much that's kind of the spirit of this film, uh, as well as playing with the idea of, you know, a woman kind of rising to power and rising to uh, be an inspiration in a largely man's world. That's I think that's there, but I think it's kind of um, glossed over and even you know, even comedically in in a couple scenes um, where like oh okay this is. This is, you're hitting a little. You're hitting the nail a little bit on the head when K. Graham, you know, walks through, you know, a, a a a crowd of only women who are there and and you know inspired by her and, and whatnot. It's like, eh, I feel like there was probably a little bit more of an even gender shift in uh, uh, in that you know crowd, perhaps. But um, all in all, I had a good time with it. Uh, Logan also really enjoyed it, and so yeah, that was uh, the post. Uh, if if you are into that kind of uh, um, you know, journalism movie, um, I think you'll probably enjoy this one. So let me know what you thought about the post in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Snarky Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.